are five questions away from one million. You didn't think you'd get this far, did you? No, I didn't. In a million years. I didn't feel like it. Question number 11 of 15, here it is. Which country has the most time zones? United States, China, Russia, Brazil. Mm. Yeah. Well, I know which one it isn't. Um, which one isn't it? China amazingly has one time zone only for the whole country. Well, of course, you'd have to know that, wouldn't you? You'd get a smack. <laughs> um, Most time zones are those four United States, China, Russia, or Brazil. You've got a 50 50 if you need it, you can hold it. I could hold it, couldn't I? It's up to you. I'll take the 50 50. Russia's, Russia's against. Okay. Uh, computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave Nick the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Russia. <laughs> For your theories about China having one time zone. Final answer. Final answer, Russia. You just won £64,000. <laughs> That's my boy. Woo! <laughs> right. You had 32000 You're still guaranteed 32000 at the moment, though. You're worth £64,000. I don't want to give you that. I'd like to give you the next one for £125,000, but you've got no lifelines. Nick, have a look at question number 12. Where in the human body is the trapezium bone? Ear, back, shoulder, wrist. Yeah. I, I haven't got the faintest idea. It's, it's, it's probably ear or wrist. Um, but I haven't got the faintest idea of this. Ear, back, shoulder or wrist? I'd guess the wrist, but it could be any one of the four. As far as I know. I'm going to stop there, Chris. Final answer, you can take the money? Final answer, take the money. OK, give him a big hand. Nick goes home. <laughs> £60,000 better off. I can tell you it. Check for £64,000. There you are. It's <laughs> good, isn't it? I can tell you, if you had said to me, wrist, you would now be holding a cheque for £125,000. It was the right answer. Give him a big hand. Nick Han leaves with £64,000. <laughs> now it's time to meet tonight 10 brand new contestants. They are Cole Stubb from Cheshire, <laughs> Jerry Benson from Dorset, <laughs> Andy Dalton from Lancashire, <laughs> Larry Duffy from Worcestershire. Margie Briggs from Merseyside. <laughs> Hamish View from Surrey. <laughs> Nigel Clark from Cheshire. <laughs> and Seymour from Berkshire. <laughs> Peter Gaynor from Lancashire. <laughs> and one more, Ken Harrison from Cheshire. <laughs> OK, here we go again. Fastest finger first. The next question has four answers, but only one correct order. Find the correct order in the fastest time, and you're next to play for one million pounds. Audience nice and quiet, please. No calling out, putting them off. Fastest finger first, here comes the question. Starting with the fewest, put these in order according to the number of legs. Isle of Man emblem, spider, Lord Nelson, red rum. Of bewilderment on the audience. Let's see how our ten contestants did. Right, we won the right order, starting with the fewest. Lord Nelson had two legs but only one arm. That's the least. Then the Isle of Man emblem, that's got three legs. Red Rum has four legs, and a spider, of course, has eight legs. That's the right answer. It's not as easy as it looked, actually. Let's see. Let's see how many got it right, then find out who got it right fastest. These got it right. Not that many. Ken Harrison in 8.21 seconds. What's the fastest? Well done, Ken. <laughs> it's going to be hard, that, with Nelson. I thought we might get that wrong. You ready for this? I am. 15 questions, £1 million. Pounds. What could be simpler? Come on, Ken. <laughs> so, 
Now, this is Ken Harrison, a quality inspector from Widness in Cheshire. Watching at home is the wife, uh, Chris, kids Lynn and Paul, and Ken's three grandchildren. Uh, Ken and Chris are big Beatles fans, so the son Paul is named after Paul McCartney. His daughter was lucky not to be called Ringo. Now, with big money, Ken would like to trek around the Himalayas with Brian Blessed. Actually, that's a top-sounding adventure, isn't it? Why the Himalayas? It's the biggest range of mountains in the world, and uh, it can take several days, if not weeks, to travel around. You obviously couldn't go to the full height, but uh -huh. you could go to, say, 15, 10, between 10 and 15,000 feet, and uh, really stretch yourself. As always, Ken has three brand new lifelines. He's got 50-50, he's got phone a friend, and he can ask this audience. Now, remember, I don't have any correct answer at all on my screen until Ken's final answer goes orange. At that point, it logged into the computer. OK, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Question number one, it's worth 100 quid. Here it comes. What do Americans walk through in the middle of New York City? Central Park, Central Television, Central Line, Central African Republic. It's Central Park. Yes. Correct answer, nice and easy, 100 pounds. pounds this is it which household implement is used by team members in a curling match feather duster sweeping brush ironing board vacuum cleaner it's a sweeping brush sure happy with your answer yes okay it's good you've got 200 pounds <laughs> Have a look at question number three. It's worth 300 quid. Here it comes. Which of these is the title of a low-budget horror film released in the UK in 1999? The Hague Fairy Design. <laughs> I think I know where we're going. The Blair Witch Project. The Straw Devil Affair. The Cook Gnome Scheme. It's the Blair Witch Project. Chris. That's right, you got 300 quid. Well done, Ken. <laughs> Take your time, just be aware, Ken, at this point, you would go home with nothing if you gave me a wrong answer. I'm sure you won't. Just keep an eye on those lifelines if you need it. Have a look. Question number four, it's worth 500 quid. Which of these words can be followed by corn and mint to create new words? Salt, mustard, vinegar, pepper. It's pepper. It's the right answer. You've got 500 pounds. <laughs> Last point at which you could go home with no money at all. I'm sure it won't happen. You've got all three lifelines. Have a look. Question number five. You will go home to the grandkids, the whole family, with at least £1,000. Have a look. Question number five. Traditionally, where in a church does a clergyman change his clothes? Belfry, vestry, aisle or font? It's worth £1,000. It's vestry, Chris. It's the right answer. You've got £1,000. Ken, what First is milestone. OK, big sigh of relief. You're guaranteed to go home from here with at least £1,000. Back to witness, but hopefully a lot more. Question number six, you might as well play it. It's worth £2,000. You're guaranteed £1,000. Here it comes. You're ten away from a millionaire. What was the name of the mule famous on children's television from the 1940s? Melvin. Muffin. Murgatroyd. Mortimer. Uh, this, will, this will give my age away, won't it? Muffin. Final answer. Final answer. It's good. You got two thousand pounds. Yeah, well. <laughs> Have a look at question number seven. It's worth four thousand pounds. You would lose a thousand pounds if you gave me a wrong answer here, but you've got three lifelines to get you through. Question number seven. If you give me a right answer, you double your money to four thousand. Here it is. Zucchini is another name for which vegetable? Aubergine. Courgette. Mange two, cauliflower, zucchini. I think it's what the Americans call courgette. Um. 
but I'm not 100% sure. Could I phone a friend, please, Chris? You can. As long as you like. Would you like to ring? My best friend, my wife. Your best friend, your wife. This is um, a bit of a test of marriage, Ken. Your best friend, your wife, OK. Uh, it's worth £4,000. You don't, I don't know how to tell you this, you don't have to take her answer. I think you probably have to, actually, Ken. <laughs> In theory, you don't have to take her answer. I think it's cause, yeah, but I'd like to double check. OK. What's her name again? Sorry. Chris. Hey, Chris. Hello? Chris? Yes? It's, uh, it's other Chris. It's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, I've got Ken here. You remember, he's your husband. Yes. He's doing very well. He's on £2,000. Yes. With your help, Chris, we can get him up to 4000 OK, I'll do my best. Well, it's a serious test of <laughs> uh, the bond between man and wife. Ken, the next voice here will be Ken's. OK. You'll have 30 seconds. He'll tell you the question of four possible answers. One of those is the one we need to get him through to £4,000. All right, Chris? OK. OK, lots of luck. Ken, your time starts now. Hello, love. Yeah. Zucchini is another name for which vegetable? Aubergine, courgette, mange too, or cauliflower? Courgette. Are you sure? Yep. 100%? Yep. Thanks very much, love. Hurrah. Bye now. Yeah, I thought it was. Courgette. Final answer. I'll answer. He's very happy with your wife. You just got four thousand pounds. <laughs> Have a look. Question number eight is worth eight thousand pounds. You've got four at the moment. You would drop three. The money's starting to go up now a bit steeply. The drops are steep as well. You lose three thousand pounds if you gave me a wrong answer. If you played it, but if you give me a right answer, it's worth double your money. You double your money to eight thousand. Here it comes. You've got two lifelines. The Man Who was a hit album for which band in 1999? Travis, Stereophonics, The Cause, Texas. Now, you're a big Beatle fan, but uh, yeah. how are you on United? Not the Man very, Who. Not very good at all. Big um, hit for one band in 1999. Could I ask the audience, please, Chris? You can. Oh, they sound pleased. Right, let's see. <laughs> OK, everybody, on your keypads, please. Let's get Ken up to £8,000. He's still got a 50-50. You can use that as well if you need to, Ken. Right, here's the question. The Man Who was a hit album for which band in 1999? A, B, C or D? All vote now. Ooh. 94%. It's quite a large um, percentage. 94 out of 100, reckon Travis. Three stereophonics, three cores, none for Charlene Spiteria in Texas. It's up to you. I'll go along with the audience, please, Chris. Travis. Final answer. Final answer. Well done, everybody. £8,000. <laughs> Let's have a look at question number nine of 15. It's worth £16,000. The inauguration of the US president is traditionally held on the 20th of which month? November, December, January, February. You've got £8,000, Ken. You can walk away. You can play a 50 50 and still walk away, having played it. November is when they have the elections, and January is when they have the inauguration. So I'm going for January, Chris. Confident? Yes, confident. £7,000 if you're wrong, Ken. Yes, I'm confident. Final answer. Final answer. Ken, you just won £16,000. <laughs> Take your time. Question number 10 is worth £32,000, and I'd be delighted to give you a cheque on the spot. Have a look. With which country does Denmark share a land border? Sweden, Netherlands, Norway, Germany. It's worth 32,000. What are you thinking, Ken? I'm trying to think of an atlas. 
<laughs> take your time, take as long as you need. It's not the Netherlands, it's not Norway. 